The second day of the summit also witnessed an impressive turnout of members of the bar and the bench, all interested in identifying the challenges clogging the wheels of justice in the state and preferring recommendations and solutions to dealing with same. Of particular concern to some senior lawyers here is the need for justice to stay accessible to the poor, the vulnerable and the downtrodden in the society. Chief Judge of the State has just, maybe because of recession, to make money for the judiciary, has just hiked prayer practice directions, the filing fees in our court, beyond the reach of the ordinary man. Sometimes you now pay more than one million naira to file a writ of someone, where you may even pay up to 50,000 naira to collect a CTC of a judgment. With profound respect, my Lord, these practice directions are illegal. You confiscate the property of a citizen. You have not offered compensation. That citizen has been going cap in hand, appealing to you on his knees or her knees, pleading and asking you compensation. I don't want to sue the government. Do you know what? A good number of Nigerians don't want to sue the government because they rightly or wrongly believe that they will not win. The prison system is another area where the lawyers want urgent reforms. We are breeding criminals in Lagos State. Those we send to prisons learn criminality in prison, so they come out to unleash violence and all. Please, let us do something about our prisons. Lagos State, I beg you, abolish the death penalty because it's 1999. No governor in Lagos has ever signed a death warrant. So why are we keeping it in our law? The Attorney General of Lagos has promised to consider all these suggestions and recommendations to ensure that there are tangible outcomes to move forward the administration of justice in the state. Shola Shoyeli, Channels Television News.